What's good guys, I'm John the Chief, and for this video, it's going to be on a way to have infinite carrying capacity with little to no repercussions. So, basically, in Fallout 4, you actually do have infinite carrying capacity, but what happens when you actually go over your limit, you get over encumbered and you move really slowly. But with this, you can still move at a relatively reasonable speed, which is what I'm moving at right now, and this is with 3,000 total weight that I'm carrying. So I am way over the limit, but I am still moving at a decent speed. And as you can see, I'm consuming AP while moving, but it's hardly consuming any AP at all. The first perk that you'll need is Strong Back, which allows you to sprint when you're over encumbered and allows you to fast travel while over encumbered. So that way, you don't need to go back to Sanctuary to deposit all your items. And also, since you can actually sprint, you are not really feeling the punishment of being over encumbered. The next perk that you want is Moving Target, which allows you to actually sprint at 50% reduction in AP. And the way that you're moving when you're over encumbered counts as sprinting, so you're going to be using less AP when doing that, which is very important. We're going to be using a bunch of perks that actually do this, and armor mods that will also add on to this, so that way we're going to be consuming the least amount of AP possible while sprinting. The last important perk that we use is Action Boy, which allows you to regenerate your action points at a 50% increase. So this allows you to get your AP back faster because there is a little bit of time after you're done sprinting for quite a while. You do have to wait for your AP to come back up. And we're going to also be using a bunch of armor upgrades that also increase this in addition. Next, you're going to need to go for a specific set of armor mods on your armor. So what you're going to want is ultra light build for your chest and your arms. What this does is that it grants you bonus AP. So that way you can actually sprint for a longer amount of time since you have more AP to begin with. Then you're going to want custom fitted for your leg pieces. What custom fitted allows you to do is that it reduces the amount of AP consumed while sprinting. When you have all of these on your armors, you can basically sprint for about a good minute and a half before you run out of AP. And then with all the perks getting your AP back, you can get it back within about 5 seconds. So when you're looting, you'll get your AP back to max and then you can be sprinting for another minute and a half. So you'll never feel the punishment of actually being overweight. And then if you want to take this a step even further, what I like to do, since I farmed for a lot of legendary armors, I have a bunch of legendary armors that work really well with this. What I like to use is sprinter pieces on the legs. Those are the best ones you'll want because that increases the speed at which you're moving. With the natural sprint without the sprinter armors, when you're over encumbered, is not as fast as you would like it to be. But when you add the sprinter armor to it, it actually makes it really well and you start to hardly notice that you're actually over encumbered at all. The speed is actually very good, it is very close to what you would normally sprint consuming AP when you're actually at a good weight. Next, you're going to want Powered, which increases the rate at which your AP refreshes. So that's going to be good, so that way the time when you run out of AP to gain back to full is a lot slower. There's a lot less time in that, so it's going to be a lot better, so that way you can always be sprinting. You just The weight will be a little bit shorter, which is always good. And then the last one is either Fortifying Gear or Cunning Gear, because Fortifying Gear increases endurance, and Cunning Gear increases agility, which agility increases the amount of AP that you have in total, so you want as much agility as possible, and endurance decreases the rate at which AP is consumed while sprinting, so you also want a really high endurance. So also, I forgot to mention, you want endurance and your agility at 10 when using this method. And that's basically it. Once you have all this completed, you can basically just run around and you don't need to even think about going over encumbered because the weight will do nothing to you no matter how high it is. And with all this gear set up, you can actually be sprinting for over a minute and a half before you run out of AP. The only thing about this setup, I recommend not using VATS because if you use VATS, you're not going to have too much AP all the time because you're going to be using your AP to use VATS and also to actually move. But that's basically it for the video, guys. Hope all of you enjoyed the video, and have a great day.